Hi, this is Katie, and I'm going to come to you with a quick review of the Celebrate Sunflowers stamp set and die set. I really do like this set. I can see my customers liking this a lot. Also, there's so much versatility in the shapes that go with the dies with this. Um, I will show you how my weird brain works in just a moment. But the stamp set itself comes with both a large flower and a small flower. And then it's got some extra leaves here that you can just add in wherever you feel like you need some fillers. Let's celebrate you. I like this mixture of the blocky letters and the font letters. Thanks a bunch. So you can make a bunch of sunflowers. Know that you are loved. And congratulations on reaching a whole new level of wonderful. Now you did get a um, make and take already that's going to use this stamp set and you saw in the make and take that I colored just part of this so that I got you are loved instead of know that you are loved so that's one thing that I do like teaching my customers um, let's see this is the die set so the die set, well here this is easier so I made a page for my display book uh, maybe you can see it easier this way. So you've got a hole. You can punch out the whole sunflower itself, which I did here because I posted a sunflower picture on my Facebook page. And I did it in yellows because sunflowers are yellow. And immediately one of my customers came back and said, oh, that makes a great Gerber daisy. So then I learned that Gerber daisies kind of look like this, but they're different colors. So this is going to become a Gerber daisy, but I haven't finished it yet. Uh, this piece is the layering piece and I just left it um, undone for my Gerber Daisy so that you could see how they layer nicely on each other. Okay, here's my weird brain. <laughs> I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, if I go along and cut off all the petals, can I turn that into a donut? I don't know, maybe I'm just hungry right now while I'm doing this. You do get the center, which is just an irregular little circle-ish sort of shape, but you do have another die that actually cuts out a layering piece that can be the center of the flower. Here's my weird brain again. You've got one die that's going to cut out these two leaves, but don't you think those could be like ears on a bunny? Or big ears on a big bunny? And I'll tell you, when I bought this in the catalog, this die is facing that way in the catalog picture. All I could see was a chicken head with a beak, and it needs an eyeball right there. And then I thought, wait a minute, for Thanksgiving, I can put this right centered about here, get a turkey head, a turkey body, and then cut a bunch of these and set them up here and make um, tail feathers. Anyway, just saying, that's where my brain is going. And then you do have a couple of these sprig sprays over here. Now I'm going to show you a couple of samples. Like I said, you have one make and take. This will be your make and take. And there's that you are loved with only part of the sentiment. So I won't say anything more about the make and take because you are going to be doing it. Lori did a uh, her trade. So if you got Lori's trade card, you got this one. And Lori will be doing right after this. She's going to be showing you how she did some of the coloring on that. And then this is another card I got from Lori. So isn't that pretty? So that layers so nicely on here. And then here's some of those sprigs. And then I'm going to show you two more cards that I made with this. I want So this one, I just wanted to show off the greenery. But I also wanted to show off the inlay technique. So what I did on this one was I cut that leaf out. The base, okay, yeah. So I cut the I cut the base leaf out of the uh, lighter colored green. Then I cut the detail twice out of the lighter colored and the dark color. I punched all the holes out of the lighter colored detail and threw away all the pieces. And then I punched all the holes out of the darker one and saved the pieces and glued them back in here. So now you run your finger cross and it's smooth. So that is the inlay technique. So the only purpose of this card was to show, show off the foliage for um, the sunflower set. And then the other card that I did with this stamp set, in my customer group, we've been playing around with masking this week. And so I did some masking 
with the sunflowers. It, this is that smaller stamp, but I stamped it four or five times along the edge there. And then we created a mask. This is another good technique to show your customers. So we created a mask with a post -a note so that I could, um, you stamp this one first, and then you come back and you stamp this one over it. And of course the post -a note protects it so it makes this one appear to be on top. Does that Wink of Stella show through for you? It's kind of glistening for me. It's catching my eye on the light here. And then before I put this away, I will say one more thing. A, st a stamp like this with lots of irregular in and outs, it's kind of challenging to fit that back into its space if you keep your stamps like that. I like to keep them in that base because that way if there's a hole, I know I've got a stamp missing. But anyway, what I did was I just made a little mark for myself so I know if I line up that mark on the stamp with the outside piece, then it fits into the hole nicely and I don't have to figure out where the, um, where the bumpies all match. So anyway, I do like this stamp set a lot and I can see lots of options for using it, not just to make pretty cards, but also to teach techniques. And wait till you see what Lori does with the coloring because that's coming up next.